Hi, it's Joe here, and I'm in Sumy, Ukraine. Let me ask you, have you seen all the pictures of the amazingly beautiful Ukrainian and Russian women on the internet? You know, the dating, marriage agency, the mail order bride websites, and thought, you know, this industry is just one big scam and con for beginning to end. There's no way I'm ever going there. Or are you maybe like I was before I came to the Ukraine and thought, I wonder if it's possible. I wonder if there's a sliver of truth to this ugly industry. I wonder if maybe a younger, beautiful, amazing Ukrainian wife is waiting for me in the Ukraine. Well, uh, the story has a happy ending. Uh, but the thing is, I'm shooting this video so that you can avoid the painful, costly mistakes that I made, made on my quest. So, you see, when I came to the Ukraine, for myself, I just had to know what's the truth. Like, seriously, really. And I went to agency after agency and I could see with my, I could feel I could see um, the corruption in the agencies, the lies. Um, so the way, the only way I could find to get to the real hidden truth was by talking to a myriad, many, many Ukrainian ladies. So what I'm bringing you in this video series is the truth through Ukrainian ladies. Every lady that I've interviewed, I know for some time, um, some are married, some single. Younger, beautiful ladies are going to bring you the truth to this mail order bride or marriage agency business here in the Ukraine. And they're going to give you a ton of tips so that you can be successful in your pursuit. You'll learn all the landmines to avoid. You definitely want to study this video series and learn everything you can before you venture out on your own. So I wish you the best of luck and much happiness in your pursuit looking for love, looking for your other half in the Ukraine. Good morning, Natasha. Good morning, Julia. Thank you very much for talking to me today. You're welcome. Today, you've been so kind to offer to talk to us about the subject of Ukrainian ladies and the topic of marriage agencies and men coming to the Ukraine looking for love, looking for a wife. Um, first question, let me ask you, is it true? Is there a lot of, you know, single younger, beautiful, smart, educated uh, ladies in Ukraine that are looking for a husband, a good man, but just can't seem to find one? I think it's true, yes. You think it's true? And, uh, uh, many women don't marry right now. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, <clears throat> and can't, uh, I don't know reason, but, but many women can't uh, found uh, men in Ukraine. Okay, okay. And why do you think that is? Like, why is there so many, uh, you know, amazing Ukrainian ladies between the age of, say, 28 and 40, right, that are single that can't find a good man? Why do you think that is? Many women uh, don't, don't think uh, marry, marriage is something uh, important in his life, in their life. Uh, many women want... Uh, Many women can't uh, found because uh, it's, uh, I think, difficult to found uh, a good man. Mm -hmm. Difficult to find a good man. Yes. Uh -huh. why, do, why is it difficult? Um, and this is Alona, <laughs> our translator, <laughs> because Natasha was worried a little bit that she can't Okay. Express yourself enough mm -hmm. in English, so maybe you want to continue in Poruski? Некоторые женщины просто не считают нужным выходить замуж, некоторые достаточно разочарованы к определенному возрасту в мужчинах. Процент мужчин, которые хотят вступать в брак, тоже небольшой. Mm -hmm. Some women are just some women don't want to get married, and some women are just too disappointed in men. And and there are a lot of men who just don't want to get married too. Mm -hmm. A lot of men that don't want to get married, and a lot of women disappointed. Mm -hmm. So the end result is lonely men and lonely women. <laughs> Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Why do you think it is Ukrainian ladies, so many Ukrainian ladies are going to marriage agencies to meet a Western man? Why do you think that is? Конечно, лучше всего это объяснить тем, что если в каком-то месте 
ты чего-то не можешь найти, ты просто расширяешь свои горизонты, пытаешься не ставить себе каких-то границ. A person, if a person can't find something in here, a person is trying to broaden the scope where, where she can find what she is seeking for. Mm -hmm. So ju just a woman doesn't set herself the limits. That's why she is going to the agency. Женщина не может найти мужчину в своем окружении, и поэтому она пытается, пытается расширить свои возможности. A woman can't find a man here mm -hmm. in, in Ukraine, yeah, mm -hmm. in her um, surrounding. She's trying to find a man somewhere else. Mm -hmm. It all makes one? sense. Yes. She's looking in Ukraine, she can't seem to find her, her half, you call it? Yes, better half. Her half, her other half, so she looks abroad. Да, и наши мужчины присыщенные большим количеством красивых, хороших женщин, наверное, mm -hmm. и поэтому они не торопятся. There are too many good, educated, beautiful women, uh, and men think that they can wait for a very long time, they can wait for getting married, uh -huh. and they can choose, and so on and so forth. It sounds like they're a little spoiled, maybe. Yes, that's what Natasha <laughs> just used the word, but I couldn't find. Okay, uh, okay. Group.